We have ourselves a cute little longhorn here. And LaRue says she loves her Spartans. So, um, what's yellow canvas that you use? Oh, this is Dick Blick, uh, Rima. This canvas that I have right here is Dick Blick, uh, dickblick.com. And I like the uh, Dick Blick Premier Gallery Profile. That's what I always have, so, or uh, what I always buy. So I do like these. And if you buy in bulk like I do, like I bought like um, $2,000 worth of canvases a couple weeks ago, then uh, it's really cheap to buy them if you buy three to six of each size. So yeah, the red ones leak like crazy. So anyway, we're gonna get started. Here's my Longhorn. I already put a coat of white on my six by 12 canvas. And this is the white I used. I'm gonna stick this right here. And maybe it will be obvious what size canvas we're using. So we don't have to answer that. Okay, thank you for the sprinkles, love bug. So this is what I use to cover, put one nice fresh coat onto my canvas. And now we're going to use our graphite paper, the black graphite paper, and we're going to use our tracer that I created. I don't know what side is what, I don't guess it matters. And we're gonna transfer our image to our canvas, okay? So I am going to get just a tiny piece of tape and tape that down, because I'm in that kind of mode today where if I don't, I know I'm gonna mess up. So it's been one of those days where nothing has been really going the right way. So I'm gonna tape this little sucker down. And I went and bought myself a new stylus, guys. Thank you for the sprinkles. Went and bought myself a new stylus at Hobby Lobby because mine is still MIA. I have gone through every one of my buckets. I have no idea where it is. It is stolen it's my story i'm sticking to it so uh i bought myself a new uh little stylus i think it was three dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and transfer my image using my stylus you can just use an ink pen if you want you don't have to go and buy a stylus so anywho I am going to just start tracing. I'm gonna try to keep from running my hand across the canvas with pressure. I'm gonna keep my hand off so I'm not transferring any of the um, black onto my canvas where I don't want it. So I'm gonna try to stay in the lines. Can't promise that's gonna always happen, but we'll make adjustments as needed. I gotta hold my mouth right while I'm doing this. Hang on. No. We'll do this little ear. We'll come over here. I'm doing it very lightly because I don't want to get black on my white. I mean, it will come off, but still. And then we're going to paint him. Let's take a peek. Oh girl, I can beat you. I went to Hobby Lobby for paint because I was looking for some special paints for some things we're gonna do inside the Shattered Circle. Um, next month, I was looking for some uh, really special pretty paints. And $286 later, I was like, goodness gracious. But glassware is half price at Hobby Lobby today or this week. So, so take advantage of that special too. So I'm gonna put our Longhorn pattern aside. And yeah, I spent a boatload of money. I was like, what? I bought some Christmassy stuff too. So there's that. <clears throat> Uh, they didn't have any, Maureen. So you're gonna find these in the fine arts department at Hobby Lobby. It's gonna be over there where they have like specialty pens. And I'll tell, I'll show you what else I bought at Hobby Lobby. Y'all know I love my little black pens. So these are the graphic pens. <clears throat> 
that I like to use. And the, the um, stylus is on that very same aisle as your fancy pens and markers in the art department, not the craft department. So look for it there. You may have just missed it. So anyway, let's get started. The color I am going to use for the Longhorn is Americana Burnt Orange. Now, I, what I did, and hopefully it's a good color for the Longhorns, what I did was pull up a bunch of Longhorn stuff, hey Janie, on my computer and just kind of look at the colors. So I'm hoping this will be an acceptable color for the Longhorns. All their stuff that I saw on the internet was kind of a warm, burnt kind of orange. So hopefully that'll be okay. And this is literally called burnt orange, so. $65 even, I never get out cheap at Hobby Lobby. But I don't go too terribly often. I try not to because I always end up spending away too much money. So I try not to go very often, but when I do go, it's like I leave with bags and bags and bags. All right, so I am going to use, I'm just gonna use uh, this small number I think this is a this is a terrible brush. See how I've let it sit in water, and so it's peeling, and it's going to get ickiness all in my art piece. So I'm going to get a different one. So we're going to use this one, and this is a number ten flat. So that's what we're using. My comments keep going away, and it's making me sad. So I'm using this small brush so that I can get in these small areas. My hands are a little shaky today with the Arthur thing, and so I'm gonna take this out of precaution. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna paint this solid orange with my brush. Make sure when you're painting that you are covering those tracer lines. You don't want anyone to see those things. So hang on. So that we did, how this is happening, is we did a couple months ago, or maybe a month or two ago, I don't know how when it was, I can't keep up with what I did yesterday. <laughs> so uh, we did a Bama piece and we did an Ole Miss piece. And so then we did a contest via email. And all you had to do was respond your favorite team. And then we took all those responses and drew one. And that person will win or will be gifted this Longhorn piece. And I'm getting so out of lines, it's not even funny. I'm terrible. Who stole your tape? <laughs> I swear. Tape and scissors always runs away too. Tape and scissors, always M-I. So, I'm gonna be really careful with my lines. I'm gonna flip to do that other side because my hands are super shaky today. So, we'll try to get this right. I don't want him to have weirdo shapes, so we gotta get it get it correct. Deb, I know you didn't say that. I know you did not. I've already started crying about that now. I've already been pouting about that here this earlier today. I don't hold grudges. I don't hold grudges, you know. Anybody could lose at any time. You know, here's what I always say. Those kids playing college football are literally kids. They are children. They are college students. They are children. And anything could make their day go bad, right? I mean, I know that sometimes when I'm having a bad day, I, I just can't do anything right. So you cannot be mad about a loss because these kids are, they're kids, you know? Maybe one of them's girlfriend broke up with them and 
things just weren't going right and he couldn't get his hand in the game. Who knows? Anything could happen at any given moment with those college teams. So I do not get myself in a tizzy about it at all. It is what it is. Certainly don't get mad at those kids. You know, you see people fussing. They're, you know, fussing and saying this kid, you know, did this and they need to be thrown out of the game or they need to be removed and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh my God, what if it was your kid? Hush. These are their children. It is only a game and they are children. They're literally children. Literally. Babies. Little babies. So, I'm gonna, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna figure it out as I go. So, let's get that ear done. Isn't it cute? Yes, this person won a contest, so. It's gonna take more than one coat, I can see. But the second coat will be way quicker. Let me see if I can get this little long horn done. I have to be quiet and hold my mouth just right to stay in line. So thank you, Catherine. So I don't get out of line because I am super duper kind of sh shaky today. I hate when that happens. All right, let me flip and see about doing the top. Thank you guys for the sprinkles. Appreciate it. And we are giving away this piece. Hang on. <laughs> That's funny, Gina. So my friend, one of my girlfriends lives in Destin, or she lives in the 30A area, and her camera caught a black bear in their backyard a couple of days ago. I was like, oh my Lord, because the last time we were there, um, we walked around like at night, we walked around the block and just took a stroll around the neighborhood. And I thought, oh my Lord, would that be something to just be out for an evening stroll at the beach and poof, suddenly there's a bear? What in the world? messed up a little, so I'm going to try to correct. Hang on. So. I'll try to fill in anywhere where it looks like it needs a second coat. And then we're going to do... our words. So the words I'm using, I'm just putting Texas over the top of this and I literally cut out um, the X, the T and the X from sheet glass from Hobby Lobby and the other letters I cut from bottle rings. So y'all are going to be Asking all the questions about bottle rings when we get to that point. So, <laughs> did somebody answer the uh, person who asked about sprinkles? I just keep glancing up. Yeah. 
Oh, I don't know, G. I don't know what the other animal is. Tourist, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, people who live in Florida, I know this is not nice. It's not a nice thing to say, because you know, without the tourist industry, the people would uh, be in trouble, but they call tourist turons. So let me second coat this other horn and then we'll get started on the letters. <sighs> Do you see that gnat? Lord, add some <laughs> dead flowers in here for a while and ever since then I've had a gnat problem. Okay, so there is our long horn. Uh, A little bit of a mishap right here I'm gonna to try to fix. All right, she ain't perfect, but tis what tis. Okay, so I'm gonna put that paint aside. We're gonna let this dry, and I'm gonna show you kind of what I, uh, how I cut my letters. So I buy sheet glass from Hobby Lobby. And these are the tools that I use to cut my glass. I'm gonna have to move this out of the way. Let me move this over. Okay, so what I do, this is a partial piece of sheet glass, okay? So what I do is you wanna look for the smooth side. You wanna make sure your Glass is clean, and I use this grid, which, which catches, you can see, it has all sorts of glass debris in it. So I use that to catch all the debris so I don't have teeny bits of glass all over my um, table, and then I cut myself. And then I use this little square to help stay in line, okay? So then you can use your pistol cutter or whatever cutter you have. And I'm gonna stand up because it's easier to cut a strip standing up. So I'm putting a good bit of pressure down on my glass and I'm gonna start at the bottom and go all the way up off the edge of the glass, all right? So then I can take my handy dandy nippers or breakers and you wanna line it up with your cut and see, see, I can't even do it right. You want to line it up with the score. Well, I'll be darn. And normally you, sh you would get a strip. It does take practice. And this, um, this glass is super textured. I don't know if you could see it, see the texture. And it's really hard to cut textured glass. It takes a lot of practice. So, um, don't fret if you are, are doing what I just did and making bad strips because it happens to everybody. It took me almost a year to cut good strips. And the smoother your glass and the clearer your glass, I should have tapped, the clearer your glass, the easier it is going to be to cut those um, strips, okay? It does take practice. It's not super, super duper simple. So anyway, that, then I take my little strip and I cut whatever I want to cut out. For instance, this is my T in my Texas. So I just cut the little strips long ways, however the width I want it, okay? So the plastic grid came from Amazon. The T, the square, the glass square came from Amazon as well. If you go to artshattered.com, there is a link or a um, page on artshatter.com that says things I love. And those things are in those links. It is an affiliate link, which means you pay the same price, but I get a little kickback for telling you where to get it. So do that. I'm going to put my longhorn back here. Oh, the other thing I'm using, like I'm gonna show you, let me pull this down. And so this was my tea. 
And the E and the A and the S came from this. These are called bottle rings, okay? Uh, these I bought from eBay. Do a search for glass bottle rings, and hopefully you'll be able to find some out there. Um, they come in this size, and the, the it's like cutting a bottle up in slices. So they have the small ones at the neck, and then they have the bigger ones at the bottom of the bottle. And um, so these are bottle rings that I purchased from Etsy. I don't sell these, I just buy them for myself. I don't sell glass strips because I break them as fast as I cut them too. And you really need to know if you're going to be making glass art, you need to be practicing and doing, um, cutting your own strips. I, I, there's no way I could cut strips for everybody, so I just don't do that. So anyway, I just took my little break here, my little breaking nippers, and for the piece, I just nipped out a little section to so I could make my S. Does that make sense? So I just nipped off, like I cut it here, and then I cut it here, and then I nipped it off to make the uh, rounded lettles. All right, so Texas is what we're doing. So I'm gonna move that back up and I am going to hit this with my dryer just for a second. And yes, if you have a textured glass, then once you score, if you tap on the back side, just like Sue said, it does help loosen the score. Uh, I just didn't do it for whatever reason. I just wanted to make a mess. Really super clear, translucent glass cuts way easier than textured glass. So if you're new to cutting glass, start with clear, translucent, non-textured glass. I think that's good. So now we are ready to put our words on. I'm gonna start with my X and I'm gonna come a little close to the bottom so that it's not like right in the middle of the little longhorn. And I'm actually gonna use glue, a tiny bit of glue, to keep my letters in place while we finish. So I'm gonna start with my X. So we're gonna do right in his little nose. We'll make our X. I gotta figure out exactly what how I wanna place it. Okay, so that's good. So I'm gonna just take a tiny bit of glue and I'm gonna put it on the edge of that glass, just a few baby dots, hardly any at all. And I'm gonna set it upright on that canvas. And I'm gonna take another piece, just a few tiny little dots. You don't wanna overdo it. And we'll stick that in. And more little dots. And there's our X. Makes it easy when it is an even number of letters. <laughs> so there we started with our X, okay? So now we can add our A, which is going to be one bottle ring, uncut. And then it's a half a bottle ring. You can see that it's a half a bottle ring and I'm gonna use that to form the top of that funny, that sweet A. And then I got a little scrap of a bottle ring that I'm going to, because it's so small, I'm gonna put a tiny dot of glue. It is uh, Aileen's clear tacky glue. Doesn't matter what glue you use as long as it is a fast drying glue that dries clear. It doesn't really matter otherwise. Okay, so there's our A. So now we can do our S. I'm gonna lay it out. So we have three pieces. It's three quarters of a bottle ring. And I just kept nipping until I had, let's make sure we do it right. Until I had enough little pieces. Literally, you can see what I did for my S, is I drew an S on the canvas, and then I nipped my bottle rings to follow the curve of that S. Kind of makes it easier to do. 
So let's see. So we want this to go back a little. Move this over a little. There. All right, so I'm going to put a couple of tiny dots on that portion. And I got some goobly garb on my glue tip, so hang on. And we, we can still wiggle these around a little as needed. It's kind of hard to get the perfect S. It wants to, uh, wants to be too open. So let's see what we got. Good's enough. Let's scoot it over just a little. There, there's our S, Texas. So now we have an E. The E is super simple. Yeah, it was it was laying flat. That little piece was laying flat. So it's not it doesn't need glue because it's not going to wiggle around. So just like these two pieces, they're not going to move around. So I won't have to um, I won't have to glue those either. So I want to show you what I did here because this is that. Okay, so what I did was take my scoring tool and I took my bottle ring and I made a little score here. Then I made a little score here. And then I used my breakers to break that open so it made myself the perfect E. So I just used the little broke part to make my E. I am going to do glue the little part of the E a little bit. So, let's see. All right, all that's left is our T. So, this is uh, one of those strips from glass sheeting, and I do want it to be on its side. So, I am going to glue the, um, let's see, I forgot which one was which. I am going to glue right on that edge. I think that vault was access was uh, granted to everyone today, Wanda. So you might want to go and check that. So I'm going to put that right there. Press it down a little. Make sure it's down. And then here's my cross part for the T. And voila. Look at there. We got Texas Longhorns. <laughs> Oh my goodness, is that not super cute? So using just a couple of bottle rings and breaking them into the shapes and curves that you need and uh, cutting strips and then just breaking them to the size of your letters needed is how you get these cute latas. So I'm gonna move this one out of the way. Let me move it somewhere else. And we are going to get ready to resin this. So I'm going to move this up and I'm going to grab my two long ones. Actually, I wish I'd done this first. I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do something with my pen just to outline the uh, longhorn. So I'm going to get my brand new graphic pen. It is graphic. They're Master's Touch, and Master's Touch is on sale this week, okay? So these are Master's Touch Graphic, and this is a set that has five different sizes of pen in it, okay? So these are on sale in the art department, not the craft department, of your Hobby Lobby. So it's got all the sizes. So I'm going to just outline my Longhorn just a little bit. No glue for the A. It doesn't need it. The flat, it's flat. Okay, the little ring is flat on one side and it doesn't move and wiggle, so I don't need uh, glue for the A. So I'm gonna go and just stroke, just some short strokes and outline that long horn, kind of messily, I don't care. Oh, make some dots, I like to put a few dots. Just short strokes. Put some more dots. And 
And let's see, I moved my S, I'll have to fix it. There, it kind of gives it that little extra something. Kind of makes it pop a little bit. So let's get our blocks underneath. And let me wiggle this back where it's supposed to be. I moved my S. And it was even glued. Let's see. There we are. So, now we're ready. Yay! All you people who have been waiting anxiously, get the vault today. Now, I see a little bit of something, something over here on my canvas where uh, probably I would do a G just like I did the S, except I would use this. And then I would do that. Stick that back in the glue. I see where I have some, something on my canvas. So let me clean that up. And now we are going to resin. All right, let me take a swig of my water. So, any get, is there anybody here who voted in that contest? Hey, girl. Hey, Sherry. Anybody who voted in that contest that we had for our um, favorite teams via email and responded Texas Longhorns? So, let's see if our winner is in the house while I mix resin. I want to move this up just a little more. Make sure it doesn't fall. Let's see. Thank you, Catherine. So I'm only going to mix a half an ounce of resin. All right. So I have my two little baby cups. I'm going to put my gloves on. Nobody here today voted for the Longhorns. No, this is a contest piece, Sally. Somebody won. Uh, Laura Slakem. Oops, that's your email address. That is who is getting it. Laura Slakem won, and she is here. Yoo-hoo! Congrats, Laura. So, oh no, Sue. <laughs> So I'm gonna pour a quarter ounce of resin in one cup. I have not, that is one thing I've not done and I'm shocked that I haven't done it, but I never take the tops off my bottles at the same time because I would do that. I would do that. Ugh. Okay, so that was the resin or that was the hardener. I'm gonna set it down here. Now I'm gonna do, everybody give props to Laura. And I'm gonna pour the next batch. Quarter ounce of resin and a quarter ounce of hardener. And because it's only a current, <laughs> because it's only a quarter ounce, we can just divvy back into one of the other cups and just mix in these cups and not have to go to a bigger cup. So I'm gonna dump one into the other. Yeah, I've not done that, and only by the grace of God, because uh, I've done everything else. I've done it all. I've been using resin for a long time too, so. So I am gonna scrape in all my juice. And now we can mix right here in this cup. So Catherine, if you're ready, so am I. So I'm just gonna stir away. We're gonna stir for three minutes. So everybody say congrats to Laura, yes. And uh, make sure you're on our email list because we are gonna continue to have some contests via email. 
and we may do a gift a Christmas item. We want me. We may give away uh, just a random piece of art. We may give away art supplies. You never know. So make sure you're on our email list. Uh, if you're looking for the rings, you want to Google uh, glass bottle rings. Yay, June! I do sometimes. I normally don't. I don't all the time, Jennifer, reuse my cups, but I do sometimes, especially if I'm mixing in one cup because it's pretty easy to wipe out. Uh, but I don't always, mostly because I'm lazy. You can totally wipe it out, but I just throw them away. They're so inexpensive, and I know it's plastic, yada, 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 but... Thank you for the stars, Rhonda. I met my goal last night with my stars in my membership group. It was so fantastic. I loved it, loved it. So, stir, stir, stir. So uh, watch for a post I'm gonna post tomorrow. Uh, Lisa, to get on the email list, go to artshattered.com and a little, a little box is going to pop up and ask if you want to get on the email list and you also get a little present for joining the email list, a little uh, workshop, or you can, so it's artshattered.com or you can go to theshatteredcircle.com, same thing, and just get on the email list and we uh, send you, we have a little special contest and we only like send one email a week or sometimes less. So we don't bombard you with emails. So don't fret about that. Usually if we're sending you an email, it's a link to something fun or it's a contest or something along those lines. We don't, uh, thank you, Catherine. We don't like just spam you constantly. So get on the email list. Also, we are going to have a surprise come Black Friday, Cyber Monday, so you don't wanna not be on the email list for that. So, stir, 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 three minutes, scrape your sides, scrape the bottom of your little cup, make sure it's all mixed really nicely. Yeah, I have a plastic cup in front of me that I use for larger parts that I have probably used 30 times. So, stir, stir. Thank you, Tina. Oops, I'm almost spilt. It takes a minute for the iPad to catch up, so if you tell me time's up and I don't stop, it's because uh, my iPad hasn't caught up with the video yet. So I'm gonna start with my glass. I do see I have a little bit of debris on my canvas, probably just from sitting here. So I'm gonna make sure it's nice and clean. We don't want any ickiness. We are going to Uh, is that email address for emails different from the emails we get? Yeah, if you're in the shattered circle, you get different emails than, than uh, well, you get emails that are just plain Jane, average, look, check this out emails and contest emails. Uh, but if you're not, if you're in the shattered circle, you don't get some of the emails because we're not, we don't want to like email you and say, do you want to join? Of course, you don't want to, uh, get those emails you've already joined. So we do have two separate lists, but uh, just make sure you're on it. And you know, once you get an email from us, if you either respond to said email, or if you just add that email uh, to your uh, approved email list, they will stop going to your spam, because that happens a lot. 
Our emails go into spam and people get upset, but I don't have control over that. Guys, so uh, make sure you can uh, just go into your email if you have been getting emails in the past and haven't had one lately and just do a search for either Art Shattered or the Shattered Circle and then just approve it. Put it on your approve list. So, yeah. I spent about 20 minutes today peeling uh, resin skins out of a couple of my cups. <laughs> Yeah, if you leave it overnight, if you leave it too long, it's super hard to get out. But if it's just overnight, you can scratch at it and it just comes out, just like uh, G said, it comes out like a skin. So I'm getting, I'm making sure all of my glass letters are covered and adhered to the canvas. It, it is super satisfying when it peels right out all in one fell swoop. Super satisfying. Uh, Lee, you have about 30 to 45 minutes before it starts setting up, depending on how much you mix. The more you mix, the quicker it starts to set up. So I would say if you mixed, you know, 16 ounces of resin, um, it's going to set up faster, but for a, a half an ounce, you got a good 30, 45 minutes easy before it starts to get kind of thick. So small projects like this, you got plenty of time. Okay, so now I'm going to take the rest of my resin and drizzle it around the rest of my canvas so we can make sure it's all covered. All right, I think I got it all. We'll do one more swoop. And now I'm just gonna use my gloves to spread because I've been, <laughs> these gloves I've used three times too. So if I can get away with it, I will use my gloves more than once as well. So I'm just gonna go in here and use my finger. I might need to use this. Oh, guess what, guys? They sell these at Hobby Lobby now, too. They're more expensive because they're resin tools. They're cheaper if you buy them at um, the dollar store or on Amazon, even. Let me move that. It's I'm giving me a fit. I can't get in that little hole. So now we'll put it back. <laughs> It's making me angry. Well, put him back. It was bugging me. So I'm just gonna make sure all the little spaces between my letters is covered. Yeah, they have the little cups now. They have these tools. They literally also had a piece of art that was a chandelier. Did you guys see that? I totally think that Hobby Lobby is stalking my page. Pfft, that's a joke, guys. Because they're just copying over us. We can't have nothing for ourselves, can we? <laughs> Let's see. So I'm just moving my resin around now to make sure. You could totally do the entire Longhorn with glass. Just, you, you could use clear glass over the painted Longhorn, or you could tint your glass and make a Longhorn out of the tinted glass. Uh, there are so many options. Use your imagination. Think outside the box. So many different things you could create and different ways to create it. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, I saw, I just saw it today for the first time. But like I said, I don't go in Hobby Lobby a lot. I did go yesterday, but I went straight for what I wanted and left. And then I had to go back today because I had more time. But I don't go in Ho Hobby Lobby too much. But when I saw that, I don't know how long it's been there. But I promise you it wasn't there when I did my 
chandelier in the art shattered group or in the shattered circle group because I wouldn't have done it. So they're totally copycatting. Let's see. I'm trying to get in that E. It's bugging me. Let me see if I can scoop up. All right. Now let's pull it out the rest of the way. Pull it a little bit shy. So I'm gonna work it out. I don't wanna send Miss Laura something icky. So I am going to put this down and I'm gonna use my finger to go around the edges. Make sure those edges are smooth. And I see some stuff in here that I don't want in here. So I'm gonna use my brand new stylus and scoop it out. Right here is a piece of something orange so I'll scoop that out, and then here's something black. I'll scoop that out, and over here looks like an eyelash. <laughs> I'm not sure where that came from. Could be a cat hair. So, got it. All right, so now, last but not least, we are going to scoop this last little thingy out, and we're gonna hit it with a torch, okay? I am going to use my torch, mostly because I didn't, I probably needed a teeny, teeny couple more drops of resin. So I wanna make sure it's nice and smooth for Laura. And the heat from the torch warms it up and makes it kind of flow around. So that helps when you're a little short on resin. Wasn't too much. And I can save my gloves again. Look at that. Right? That's, oh, honey, everybody everybody who's ever ordered anything from me has DNA. <laughs> I ain't even kidding. So, yes, you can use a heat gun. Uh, you could use something like this. I use this often and do that as well. But I really wanted to heat up my resin. So I used, I see a little something hiding under this A, a little something black. So I'm gonna take one more peek. Let me scoot that back down. Make sure everything's in place, no ickies. But guys, keep this in mind, you're never gonna get every little teeny weeny bit of debris out. It's just the nature of the beast. Anything that takes a while to dry is going to get some room contaminants. So try not to stress too much about stuff like that. Nothing made with human hands is perfect. So check this out. Ow, is that not spectacular? I love it.